McKissick in the backfield alongside Heineke. Third and five. Heineke flush from the pocket and dragged down. DeForest Buckner, who has just been playing sensational in his seventh season in the league. And he gets to the quarterback, and they'll have to punt the football. Another empty backfield on third down at five for Ellinger. Under duress, throws deflected and nearly intercepted. Trying to get it to Michael Pittman Jr. And now second consecutive start this season. Got the team at three and four. Drops it underneath. Low throw, but picked off the turf by Gibson. And he had a lot of room to run. Nobody was tracking him. Third down and one. And they will hand it off. Straight ahead, Robinson has enough. Dropping it off to the safety valve, and that's McKissick, and McKissick is dragged down well shy of the line to gain. 24 times so far this season before going to the sideline. Now a play action pass. Ellinger, good strike, and once again Pittman. Well, he and Pittman are finding an early rapport here in the opening quarter, a gain of 16. And the week prior to last, seven catches for Campbell. He's been in his zone. Here's Taylor breaking free. Down to the 25 goes last year's leading rusher in the National Football League. A pickup of 27. Sometimes it's just not worth bringing the pressure. Just drop seven into coverage. Pressure here, and down goes Ellinger. Three got there quickly for that Washington defense. McLaughlin, 10 of 11 this year on field goal tries. This one from 46. A little wobbly, but it's in, and Indianapolis has the first points of the ball game. Empty backfield here for Taylor Heineke, making his second start of the season, and there's McLaurin down the sideline. Welcome back to Indianapolis, Terry McLaurin. Played his high school ball 10 miles from here at Cathedral. Today it's the right guard, Sadiq Charles, who is active, but didn't start because of an illness. Trey Turner in his spot. Play fake, Heineke dumps it off, Gibson. He's got the corner, he's got the touchdown. Antonio Gibson puts Washington in front. I'm to try and get those guys blocked. Jonathan Taylor, by the way, currently in the injury tent, I'm told, as Ellinger sends it downfield. Is this going to get a flag? Heineke over the middle and that ball is caught first down as he finds Samuel who's run it a couple of times McKissick in the game but he empties out here comes some pressure Heineke can't find anybody now he's going to run for it and he is met by Bobby Okereke McKissick in the game but he empties out here comes some pressure Heineke can't find anybody. Now he's going to run for it, and he is met by Bobby Okereke. The commanders, though, don't forget, Del Rio said out of anybody on the Colts that scared him, Taylor scares him. Yeah, Jack Del Rio said, we need to stop number 28. Well, they're not stopping him right now. Once again, right up the middle, he gets nine more yards. So second and 14. Ellinger again in trouble, and he's going down. He lost the ball. This had been an issue for Matt Ryan fumbling the football, and now Ellinger coughs it up at his first career start, and Washington recovers it. Dallas won again. I mean, Washington is at the bottom right now, but very good NFC East. Heineke is going to take off and run and pick up the first down. Well, it could completely change the end of this second quarter. See how it plays out here. Heineke. And he throws. Is it intercepted? No, it's dropped. Seven and eight last year as a starter when Ryan Fitzpatrick got injured. Now second week in for the injured Carson Wentz. And he'll pitch it out here to Samuel. Third run of the game for the wide receiver. 
But they like having both of those guys on the field like they do right here for this third down and 10. Heineke caught but short. McLaurin hauls it in, but he just got nine. So now you've got a decision to make here at midfield, Robert, on fourth and one. Frank Reich here is at a different starter every season. Now two this year. Ellinger, what a catch. Any of the veteran players, that's how well he knew it. Taylor is searching for space, but there is none. Kicker sits week two after Rodrigo Blankenship was released. And he's been doing great for the Colts. Facing a third and ten here. Colts get pressure. Drops it off to McClure. McClure's not going to get there. He's hit by Kenny. A lot of people thought if things didn't go right with Ryan, it would be Foles, but it's Ellinger. The guy the rest of the way, and he's taking a deep shot here, and he's got Pierce! That was the longest pass play of the season for the Indianapolis Colts. Up the middle, first down, and Mark Taylor lost it! Another lost fumble for the Colts, and Washington recovers it! Casey Tuhill jumped on it at the 20-yard line. McKissick in the backfield alongside Taylor Heineke. Colts with pressure. Heineke wrapped up, and Heineke taken down at the six. But you still got that grasp. Don't let go. So now second and 11, getting Woo! the screen to Paris Campbell, and Campbell does the rest. Campbell finally shoved out of bounds by Bobby McCain, but not before he picks up 40 yards. Once in this ball game because of the two fumbles. But they're knocking on the door right here. Ellinger lost it down the sideline, over the shoulder, grabbed by Naheem Hines. What a catch. So now third and goal. Ellinger hands it off. Taylor is wrapped up in the backfield. Getting the penetration was Jamin Davis. Great execution from Jamin Davis. And now McLaughlin to give Indianapolis the lead, and the chip shot 20-yarder is good. For that Washington defense, Cameron Curl and Jamin Davis both with touchdown-saving tackles, and now the offense gets the ball back and throws an interception. It is picked off by Shaq Leonard. Welcome back from the injury. The leader, the captain of this defense. So now the ball down at the six-yard line. Going to hand it to Hines around the corner. And there's Indianapolis' first touchdown of the ball game, And they extend their lead. Heineke looking out at Gibson, goes that way on the swing pass, and he beats Leonard to the sideline, or did he step out? Where are they going to mark him out here? Heineke looking out at Gibson, goes that way on the swing pass, and he beats Leonard to the sideline, or did he step out? Where are they going to mark him out here? Report this week that some teams are interested in trading for Antonio Gibson, but Ron Rivera says we like our running back room where it is right now. Pitch and catch to McLaurin, and McLaurin gets it out to the 48-yard line. Heineke in the backfield by himself. Underneath, room to roam for McKissick. Franklin again drags him out. Heineke needs six yards. He's got him. It's Samuel. He try and set him up to the inside, and that's what Samuel did there. Samuel on pace for a career high in receptions. He's over 40 already this year, and now one-handed grab, and down into the red zone. There is Armani Rogers. McKissick joins Heineke in the backfield. Heineke's going to go to his safety valve, but he throws it in front of him, incomplete. Fourth down, and Washington will settle for three. He talked about the similarities to golf. Yeah, using his hips more, that was a big off-season focus and getting those feet set. And the incompletion leads to the 28-yard field goal. Some pretty good mentors, and Robert said earlier, Patrick Mahomes sent him a nice text early in the week. A lot of good advice he's received here ahead of his first start. Now he's going to take off and try to dive Ooh. forward, and I think he got it. According to where they're coming in, this should be a first down. Well, important, though, is this is going to be an interesting Ooh. spot. Heineke instead going to hand it off, but he slips. 
J.D. McKissick tried to cut back. He would have had the first down, but he fell. And this oh, is the point. You don't need to go for it if you make it. Heineke has to have it. Escapes, keeps the play alive, and completes it. What a big play as Heineke finds Curtis Samuel, and Washington still has a pulse. First charge timeout. It's touchdown or bust for Washington, down six with 106 to go. Heineke from an empty set, fires a strike complete across midfield as Sim stretches out his first catch of the ball game, an important one. Clock ticking, down to 40 seconds. Heineke looking, Heineke. They keep the play alive again. He flips it downfield and McLaurin, the hometown kid, pulls it in at the one yard line. What a grab. He ripped it away from Stefan Gilmore. Robinson in the backfield. They call him a bulldozer. Will they give him the football? No, it'll be Heineke. Heineke, no signal. Yes, they say he's in. It'll be reviewed, but for the moment, touchdown Washington. Every team has one of these plays deep in their playbook. Be ready for a possible lateral, maybe several. Well, we saw it with the Packers last week against the command. Absolutely, but Ellinger just has to flip it. He does get it to Pittman, but Pittman is taken down. And the Commanders and Taylor Heineke come from behind. They've won three in a row, and they get back to 500.